So we've got the Motley crew here, the creative team, we've got the two actors and the writer of Concrete Boots. Can you tell us, how did you lot get together? How did this start? Steve, do you want to take Yeah, no problem. Um, partner? Basically, me, me and Spence was at a barbecue um, of a friend of ours, and we was just talking about, you know, doing something together. And I read about 15 different plays. We wanted to do a two-hander together. And I read about 15 plays, and none of them really fitted for, you know, our age and how we looked. And they wasn't just qu they wasn't quite right. And my girlfriend said to me that she'd seen this play called Concrete Boots, um, at a festival, you should get in touch with the writer, Stuart, and you know, send you know, get him to send it you and have a look at it. And I emailed Stuart and he sent it straight away. I told him what I did, you know, I'm an actor and what Spencer did. And I read it and I just completely fell in love with it straight away. I just thought this is absolutely perfect for us both and I sent it to Spencer and um he was on holiday and he emailed me back within an hour, said I've read it, I love it. It's quite a forward. short script. Yeah, right. Ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he did, you know, he, no, no, but no. It's, yeah, it's that thing. It's unputdownable, basically. Absolutely. I just I, started I, reading it, went straight through it, um, mm. and then, I mean, the, aside from um, it singing out to me in many different ways, it just it cracked along. And I was really interested in the two brothers. Um, I mean, we've all got brothers, actually, haven't we? So, it's you start to pick up your own stories <laughs> from it. Um, but then, what made what sealed the deal actually is when we stuck we had a read through ourselves just me and you yeah and it was around his house and it we said let's just read the first scene and then an hour later we'd gone through the entire play and didn't even kind of realize so Stuart obviously you got the phone call from Stephen and um, saying I want to read your play and when, when before that phone call when was the last time the play Concrete Boots was performed it was, it was in a draw it was it was done I'd done it for a couple of nights and I always loved it <clears throat> I've written a few plays that one always just really sang to me and I always felt it was a little undercooked in terms of the development of the characters. I always felt like I wanted to know more about them. Um, but it's time, isn't it? And then when I, when I got um, the call and the email from Stephen, I was like, uh, OK, well, I'll send it over as it was and just see what he thinks. And um, yeah, the positive energy that came back was, was amazing and that spurred like kind of us talking about it, you know, what's missing, what does it need? What things do you want to know about these characters? And then we went from there. And so it was a welcome uh, phone call. It yeah, it was a working a meet up in London. That's what we did, and yeah. we, we had yeah, a time yeah. just yeah, had a chat about. And that was it. It was on the South Bank, wasn't it? And yeah. I think that's part of it is that it was just the three of us, and we sat down and and you do working in theatre and working in fringe theatre and d d different kind of avenues. You get every now and again these little kind of highlights where you suddenly meet some new people and you just get that click, that energy. And it just felt like that straight yeah, away, you know, just sat outside and had a few beers and we just chatted about it and they'd already read it at this point. And yeah, it, I was just like, yes, this is this is definitely something that's, that's this is an avenue we're going to go down and we're going to go down it fully. I think with, particularly with Fringe Theatre and particularly with short runs, it's so important to get a team together that first of all like each other mm. and, and just and with, with you three it's just it's just a really nice kind of working relationship and hopefully with the fringe team as well it's gonna it's gonna be a really good yeah. product I think, I think when we had the meeting with you as well I think you know the enthusiasm that come from everybody the vibe just felt really good straight away you know from us me and Spencer talking about it and then meeting meeting Stuart and then meeting yourself I think the vibe was just good all round, you know, yeah. it was one of them pieces that you just got really excited about, whether it was from me reading it and then passing it on to him, yeah. and, then to him. and it just it just had that feel-good factor about it, yeah. and I think this is where we can really push it and, and really make it work and do a good job of it and do the script justice. Well, I think the same, actually, when we did the actual read-through in front of you both, because that was a little bit nerve-wracking. We'd never actually acted, no. aside from the little read through we did yeah. in your front room yeah. before, like together. Yeah. So to do it in front of you guys and get the reactions that you know that surprised us as well as I think yeah. surprised you guys. I get sent so many um, new pieces of writing, and I, and I do I do read them all, but it's, it is quite rare that you just read one and go, that absolutely fits, and it it's so right. That's exactly yeah. what happened with this script. It was just. And not just for me, for Spence as well, like yourself. And um, we're just really fortunate that we found the script like this. And you know, Stuart's obviously directing it. It's just all fitted in so well. And I think when things fit in that well like that, it's just made to. It's just made to happen. It's fate. I think yeah. it should happen. And, and like you know, we'll we'll all push it as much as we can and do do a great job with it. Hopefully. Well, fingers crossed. This is the start of something quite big for Concrete yeah. Boots. This, this is not just. I'm mean, Guildford Fringe. 
is going to be a great platform to launch this play, I think. And for, I think from the all, minute definitely. me and Spencer read it, we both said this could do a little tour this and do really well. Mm. There's so much mileage in it. And I think, you know, it's just got so much legs and there's so many different directions or different ways you can play it. It's just got loads of legs on it to really oh, actually, push it forward. And that came out at that read through, actually, because you said, well, let's, <coughs> you said, let's do, do you mind if I direct a little bit? Because Stuart is also directing, which is a bonus having mm. the writer as well, because you know it's so in detail. We'll say there's a bonus little... after the show, we'll see yeah. how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then to bring out, even just in that little bit of direction, I'll play it more like this or try it this way. Oh, that just opened up a whole world yeah. of different, you know, possible. It must be so cool to, to go from a play, it's in the draw, in your in your words, to then have it read out loud in a read through, and now you're, we're about to start rehearsals. Yeah, it's and amazing. Do a it's going to be. It's, it's amazing. I think that <clears throat> it was not necessarily about just putting the play on for the sake of putting the play on. Mm. Every single element of it had to be right. And it's funny that you bring up that, that read through, because up until the read through, I was still kind of like, if, 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 the actors don't quite get where I'm going with this, then there's no point in doing it. It has to be something yeah. where everything, and it was like one line of direction. You read the scenes, it's just, I think it was just one thing, one little, and suddenly you just saw the light bulbs come on, and off you went with it, and I was like, this, yes, absolutely, this is, this is exactly right. The, the, the chemistry between the two of you is right, and for me, the, the object of this particular play and this type of theatre and this type of script is you want the audience to shed their skin. You want them to come in wearing one sort of skin and you want to shed that skin and walk out with all fresh, fresh skin, you know? That's, and that's, that's gonna be the drive for this. It's, it's one of them stories as well, it's really, put, it's like, you know, it's like going through, from the time that they stood by the sea, it's like going through their whole lives in the matter of an hour. So you've got so much for an actor, it's just a fan, fantastic two characters to play because it's such a roller coaster ride where it can go, you know, it's a comedy, but, there is elements in it, you know, that really touch the art screen, you know, and make you feel sorry for them both and what they've been through in their life and where they've where they've gone with the mum and the dad and what's happened. You know, you find out so much, it's really compact, as well as a well as being a comedy, you've got yeah. all these elements in it. And for an actor, it's such a really good two characters to play because there's so much mileage in, mm. in taking it to different levels. You're not just, you know, playing it, look, right, this is a comedy, let's do it like no, this. That's real life. The it's... script gives you this opportunity to, to be like up there or down here, you know, you've got so many levels that you can really use and, and really take to places and that's what I'm really looking forward to working with Spencer. I think we can, you know, both really work at that, can't yeah, yeah, we, and really yeah, have a yeah, good time doing it. Yeah, and I don't think, yeah, I think, <clears throat> Maybe it's been a bit wrong just to label it as a comedy because it's a funny script, but the comedy comes from the characters rather than being like knob gags and tit jokes. So, so, so Tom, so, so when is the play at Guildford Fringe running? Uh, January the 28th to February the 7th. Nice. Um, and um, how can we find out more information and book our tickets? Go to guildfordfringe.co.uk. Dot com. Com, almost com, the sorry. Test. It's almost sorry. part. So guildfordfringe.com and we'll see you all there. Thanks for chatting to us. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Look forward to seeing you.